Hello everyone, it's your boy Spartan back with another Jurassic World Evolution video because I have no Pokemon video plans and you know what, at this point I just have to wait for Legends of Arceus uh, like releases but yeah, anyway, so today I'm going to put a list of 10 dinosaurs that might be forgotten in Evolution 2 bear in mind that this is completely subjective uh, based on my opinion and most probably gonna piss some people off so I apologize in advance, okay? I still love these dinosaurs. Um, I just want to tell you guys that um, it doesn't get the attention they deserve, okay? Alright, so all of these dinosaurs are not, are not in order, by the way, so here we go. Okay, the first dinosaurs on the list is Taurosaurus. If you play challenge mode, you can unlock Taurosaurus pretty early on the game, but as a Ceratopsid, it lacks accessories that make it stand out from other Ceratopsid. It doesn't have any unique animation as well. I don't particularly like Ceratopsid in general, but I can say that Taurosaurus is on the bottom list, while Paki uh, Pachirinosaurus? Is that how you spell it? Or Pachirino? I said Pachirinosaurus is going to take the first spot since it's the new addition to the family. But yeah, sometimes I cannot differentiate between uh, Triceratops and Taurosaurus from afar. Um, maybe that's another reason for that. <laughs> and yeah, so we got the second dinosaur. It's the one called Mutaburosaurus. Uh, is it the one from Australia? I think. Oh yeah, I think it's it's a from it's from uh, the fossil found in Australia. One of the ornithopod dinosaur that I forgot about. <laughs> the dinosaur is super similar with Iguanodon though, and also Myasaura. and it's less it's less interesting one in my opinion. It lacks physical feature, like just like Taurosaurus, and even for animation and sound effects, uh, it doesn't really have any. Now that I mentioned Mayasaura before, the number 3 dinosaur is Mayasaura. <laughs> yeah guys, um, uh, to be honest, like I want to like this dinosaur so bad because since I used to love Mayasaura that much when I played Dinosaur King, you know, uh, that dinosaur game back then, uh, I think I played on the age of 10 if I remembered, uh, I guess, but but yeah, anyway, but in Evolution 2, Mayasaurus suffered the same fate as Mutaburosaurus and Taurosaurus, and let's see, the fourth on the list, we have Nodosaurus. You know what, like actually I actually like Nodosaurus, you know. I breed Nodosaurus in the park. Now I feel weird about this because I'm not quite sure on what's wrong with Nodosaurus. The dinosaur has subtle spikes on his body. The interaction with other Nodosaurus is also cute. Uh, it's quite unique to stand out with other dinosaurs. Um, but yet it feels forgotten. Whenever I build fresh new park on Sandbox, I either choose Polacanthus or Nodosaurus for one of those uh, armored dinosaurs. Actually, uh, I picked Ankylosaurus as well, but Nodosaurus is like uh, the must-have dinosaurs in the park, you know, at least in my opinion. And number 5, we have Sintaosaurus. Now, in my humble opinion, this is an okay dinosaur, okay, it's, it's pretty unique at first in Evolution 1, but then uh, out of nowhere, you know, Allura Titan came up and boom, it's forgotten, just like my YouTube channel, I'm joking, but seriously, the way I see it, Sintaosaurus is like the less beautiful version of Allura Titan, and that's why it, it got forgotten, but the dinosaur as well, dinosaur itself, 
uh, it's pretty cool, it's pretty unique. I think it stands out, it stands out with each other, you know, especially the crest, the, uh, the colorful crest. I like it. Number six, we have Seal of Isis. Now, uh, this is the new dinosaurs introduced in Evolution 2. Uh, I don't really breed Coelophysis that much uh, in the park. Now, um, I know it's a new dinosaur, but the reason it got forgotten, uh, because I feel like the dinosaur itself is quite similar to Troodon, maybe slightly bigger. Uh, now, Coelophysis itself is unique for some reason, um, but Troodon popularity is covering Coelophysis existence because they're, they're actually like really similar to each other, you know. Uh, but yeah, most people are gonna pick Troodon because uh, it's on the Jurassic Park and World lore and it mentioned in a lot of games while Seal of Isis, uh, let's just say it's not really, right? Oh, actually, uh, scratch that, uh, Troodon is bigger than Seal of Isis. Yep, that's, that's what I'm trying to say, I forgot, <laughs> okay, uh, I made a mistake. Okay, number 7, we have Archaeonithomimus. Okay, I'll be honest, I breed Archaeonithomimus really often, especially when I make a comparison video, just because it has the A on the alphabet in the H3. So if you sort the H3 uh, between the alphabet, uh, you can see like the Archaeonithomimus is on the top of the list. Uh, but the dinosaur itself, uh, not really that interesting. We have Gallimimus, uh, and it was from the movie, and it gained more popularity with that, but uh, I think... Yeah, people people will pick Gallimimus over Archaeonithomimus. One more thing, they are actually basically the same dinosaurs with different pattern, honestly. And number eight on the list, we got the Euplocephalus. It's called the Euplocephalus or the Euaplocephalus, just like uh, the George Lambert, I think, in the game. <laughs> uh, I don't remember. But yeah, uh, we got the Euaplocephalus from Evolution 1, and it was from, from Clear Sanctuary DLC. Uh, I'm not a fan of its model. It looks similar to Crichtonsaurus, and it doesn't have a unique animation as well. So I think it needs more exposure in the movie or some spotlight somewhere else uh, to bring attention to the dinosaurs. Uh, you know, but in my opinion, I think uh, I completely f even I I even like forgot about the dinosaur at all. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's my opinion about it. And for the number nine and ten, we are uh, they are basically like the same dinosaurs, and it is the Huayangosaurus and the Chunkingosaurus. Technically, they're not the same dinosaurs, uh, as they have like different names <laughs> to start with. Um, Okay, so what thing? What the things that make them different is like the patterns. That's one thing, and the skin. But well, I mean, yeah, the pattern and the skin, obviously. Uh, but that's the only thing because it has the same spikes shoulders, and they are the same sizes as well. Uh, Chunkingosaurus has uh, slightly bigger spikes compared to Huayangosaurus. Uh, they don't have unique animation, and in Evolution 2, they don't even have any finishing animation as well, and their interaction is just so mediocre. So I get why the dinosaurs doesn't don't get any much attention from people, and also the stegosaurus already use capitalism on on, on the audience, so I can't really say anything. <laughs> okay, that's the ten dinosaurs in total. Once again, this is a completely subjective on how I feel about these dinosaurs because at the end of the day, I love all of them, and I want them to I want to bring some attention to these dinosaurs as well. And yeah, so what do you guys think about this? Uh, what's your favorite? And if you actually remember some dinosaurs that I forgot that people rarely mentions about, feel free to comment. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, don't forget to give it a like if you like it, give it a dislike if you don't, and I'll see you guys later. And also, huge thanks to all the members that keep supporting the channels, especially the tier 2 and tier 3. Uh, really means a lot to me. It keeps uh, me growing the channel a little bit more. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.